Click each tab to know more. Take a balloon. Inflate it. Now tie up the open end with the help of a thread. Take a white paper. Cut it into small pieces. Place the small paper pieces on the table. Take a balloon and rub it with another paper. Now bring the balloon near the pieces of paper. Observe the changes. In this activity, we observe that there is an attraction between the balloon and the paper bits even though the balloon is some distance away. Finally, we say that when the balloon is rubbed with the paper, it acquires an electrostatic charge on its surface. The balloon is now said to be a charged body. When it is brought near the bits of paper, the pieces acquire opposite charge and will rise and cling to the balloon. The force exerted by a charged body on another charged or uncharged body is known as electrostatic force. This force comes into play even when the bodies are not in contact. It is an example of a force at a distance. So class, from the video what I came to know that electrostatic force also one of a kind of force where no physical contact is needed. That's why the balloon attracts the paper without any physical contact and after that paper attached to the balloon. So that is the force of electrostatic. So electrostatic force is a force where no uh, physical contact needed. So that's why that falls under the category of non-contact force. Without any physical contact, blue and red are see. They are the opposite pole. The iron fillings in that becker, sugar. Now see, they are mixing it together. Now see, iron filling will be attracted. See, there is no physical contact because in between that glass is present. But still, they are attracting to one another. So class, you get well known data about the contact force and non-contact force. I think so. So many video we have seen. So many, I think you will not forget. So your main thing is that right now, see the book. Anything what you can't uh, know, you can't understood, you can ask me in my online classes. So today what we have learned, we have learned about three things. First of all, we have done in our past video, we have done that is V square equal to U square plus 2AS. That is from chapter 1, that is from the chapter 2C. Um, this is from chapter 2C, that is V square equal to U square plus 2AS, V square equal to U square plus 2AS. This is from chapter 2C. Then after that I said the numerical problems, what we will do, that I will do inside the client online classes, not here. Then we have uh, coming for here, for next chapter, that is laws of motion. In laws of motion, first thing we have studied, that is the force, what is force. Then the two things, that is one is non-contact force. Another is contact force. 
so the first video what uh, when we are studying regarding that uh, chapter 2c in the description box i will enclose that uh, i have enclosed their question answer of the previous chapter and this contact force non contact force uh, these things you will read from book any problem you will ask me in the exercise here no numericals are required um, that uh, general character of non contact force quickly i am saying the gravitational force always attractive in nature uh, means in gravitational force there is no repulsion the magnitude of non contact force on two body depends on the distance of separation between them this is a very good characteristic we know in case of non contact force there is no direct physical contact needed but how much will be the strength how much will be the attraction or how much will be repulsion that will be clearly 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 depend on what is the distance means suppose here i am having a magnet this side north this side south and here i am having a magnet this side north this side south so obviously the two poles will repel each other now the force of repulsion for this distance will be something now if i am keeping suppose this is the first magnet this is my second magnet now if second magnet come very close to the first magnet this is a situation two suppose here i am having the second magnet this side north this side south so obviously the force of repulsion here will not very much visible but if they stay sitting uh, stay very close to one another so the force of repulsion will be clearly visible uh, to us so that's why the characteristics of uh, non contact force one of our characteristics of non contact force it is very much depend on what is the distance of separation more is the distance less is the non contact force less is the distance more is the contact force now uh, non contact force another characteristics is sometimes non contact force are very much attractive in nature sometimes contact non contact force very much repulsive in nature sometimes contact force uh, non contact force attractive repulsive both means in case of gravitational force we can see only attraction property is there but in case of electrostatic and magnetic force both attraction and repulsion are there in case of electrostatic force and magnetic force both the attraction and repulsion force are there so these are the characteristics of non contact force given in book c once and that exercise related to this i will give uh, so that's enough for this class contact force non contact force laws of motion these all we need to study and we have done so see the video if any problem then and then ask me thank you class